Hello, extraordinary readers. This is Mrs. Guthrie. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about syllables. We read and write in syllables, and syllables are small chunks of sound. And remember, I've told you before that the most important rule in reading is that every syllable has one and only one vowel sound. So we're going to start with the first two kinds of syllables that kids learn to read, and that's a closed syllable and an open syllable. So with a closed syllable, we have a vowel and then a consonant. And we can we have tons and tons and tons of closed syllables. I always think of these little vowel, short vowel sounds. They get to be short if they're closed. We put a breathe over them. It looks like a smile. I think of them as being happy, but they have to have a consonant after them to keep them safe so they can have their happy little sound. That's my little story to remember them. So let's start with a short A word, ah. Well, one of the first words you ever learned to read was sat, sat. I have a vowel consonant pattern and that's short, sat. Now, students, it does not matter what comes in front of the letter unless it's a wonky W. A wonky W changes the vowel sound, but that's about it. The rest of them doesn't matter. We just need to look at what comes after the vowel. All right, let's do a short E, a word. Men, boys grow up to be men. I've got a vowel and a consonant and a short e a. How about a short i word? Swim. Swim. I've got two letters in front of the vowel. One is a wonky w, but that's a blend, so it doesn't matter. And then I have my vowel consonant pattern. Swim. A short i and a consonant. Let's do a couple more. Got, got. We can see that there's a vowel and a consonant and that's short, got. And how about nut? Sometimes you feel like a nut. Nut, a vowel, consonant, and a short U, uh. So these are all cl called closed syllables. Now, why? It's not really a vowel, but it can be a vowel thief. And sometimes it steals a short I, I sound. And we can have closed syllables with a Y and it says I. So an example of that is Jim. So it's got a vowel and a consonant. Y doesn't have its own vowel sound. It steals a short I, I, Jim. So closed syllables have a vowel, then a consonant, and the vowel is usually short. Let's talk about open syllables. Open syllables, we actually have a ton of those, but not a lot of short words that have open syllables. An open syllable ends in a vowel, and the vowel is usually long. So, here's an example. Me. Mm, um, go. No. See that vowel's just hanging out there at the end of the syllable? And it's usually long. Now, remember why is a thief? And why, if it's in a one syllable, open syllable word, it can steal a long I. That would be like the word, my, why, try, by, lots and lots of those words. So open syllables end in a vowel and the vowel is usually long. All right, here's a fun thing to do. Let's see if we can match some of those. So we had an open syllable, go. Well, what if we close it up? Got. How about no? Not. 
What about me? Men. So again, when we have a vowel consonant pattern, the vowel is usually short. Vowel consonant short. Vowel consonant short. If we just have a vowel hanging out on the end of a syllable, it's going to be long. This seems like a lot, but start looking for open and closed syllables because when you start reading big words like independent and epidemiologist, it's important to know the kinds of syllables in those words so that you can figure them out. Okay, I'll see you next time.